So let's go back. The tradition in chemistry is do a little bit of history. And the reason is, is that it's good to see the dead ends that people went down and what enlightenment brought them to, to uh, something that we now know to be true. The problem was in the 18th century, up to the 18th century, the view of the world was largely mechanical. We had a situation where people thought of everything being F equals MA, right? Force equals mass times of acceleration. It was a Newtonian world. Newton had solved everything. Force. Usually we write it in Newtons. We use the MKS system in this class. Newtons. So we'll just check this equation. Mass is in kilograms. Acceleration meters per second per second. And Newton also worked out that work is just a force applied over a distance. Work energy. And so joules is just obviously a Newton times a meter. See, I put these square brackets to mean units. Or if you multiply all that through, you get kilogram meter squared per second per second. So what does he mean by that? Well, the world that they knew was, take this glass, it stays still. I'm not applying a force. If I apply a force, of impulse, oh, it's not going to work. It'll roll along, right? And if without friction, it won't accelerate after that. It'll just keep on rolling at a constant velocity. Of course, if I push it like this, it stops because of friction. And they knew that bodies at rest stay at rest until something is done. So even liquids, so if you put water in here and you let it settle down, the water stays at rest until I do something. I'll shake it up a little bit and you can see it move. I did put in a force on it and it started to move. And of course, it eventually settles down because of what? Does anybody know? Raise your hand. Yes, sir. Not gravity. Friction. Friction. Except this friction, this friction was at this surface. The friction that stopped this water was in itself. It's called viscosity. And in viscosity, it's the molecules dissipating energy as they flow. And we're going to talk about viscosity later in the term. But it was known to the 18th century mechanics people. Right? Viscosity. It's a part, kind of friction, dissipation of energy. And that was all very convenient. They were all proud of themselves. Newton claimed to have discovered calculus and all this sort of thing. 